we found a new Salvation Army right under the busiest freeway in Fresno. It's not in the greatest part of town, but it's very clean and the store is fairly new. As we walked in, we saw that they had a display table with items matching the color of the day, which I thought was really clever. We love everything Mickey, but they wanted $8 for that frame, which I thought was a little too much for me. I'm yet to find milk glass that glows, but I'm still checking every time I see it in hopes of finding some. That's one of my BOLO items, which stands for Be On The Lookout. Some of the things I've found out about identifying a good or valuable piece of milk glass are that real milk glass are opaque with a smooth, creamy color and ornate designs. Look for mold or seam lines, which means you have an older piece. And at one point, fluorite was added to the glass, which caused it to glow under UV light. And in the 1840s, arsenic was added to get that deep white color, which would give the edges an opalescence. When I saw these, I didn't know what they were, but I did know that they were beautiful. They're etched glass and they were hand blown. They're also very heavy. You can tell that they are hand blown because of the pontal on the bottom. And as it turned out, they're from a company called Artland and they're the Renaissance pattern and they're worth a good amount of money online. I did see that they had some dirt on the bottom and that's pretty typical at the thrift stores so I figured I could clean them but as it turns out they were hard water deposits and it's proved to be a little difficult to take off but we're still trying. I don't know if you can see but this store is huge. I was contemplating purchasing this thread because Thread costs so much at the retail stores. You have to be very careful though because thread does have a shelf life. If it gets too old or hasn't been stored properly, it can deteriorate, making it unusable. This was a princess house toothbrush holder or vase. I wasn't quite sure what it was, but it wasn't a, an especially pretty piece. So it really did, wasn't worth picking up. I liked this little air plant bud vase. I thought it would have been really cute for Halloween decor, but they wanted four dollars for it and it was by a company i didn't recognize it was possibly sold at walmart or target i didn't think it was anything particularly special this swan dish was kind of interesting it looked like lusterware but it was a chinese import and they wanted eight dollars for it I don't know why I like these pumpkins so much. They're so cute. This one, not as much as one that I already have. It's in a like rust color. It's not worth very much, but I like to put them out during the autumn uh, for a pop of color. This was so sad. I'm on the lookout for a makeup case for when I travel, and this was so cute, but it was so destroyed. And they still wanted $6 for it. This was a pretty transferware dish. It did not have a logo on the bottom or any company name, but 
I do have a lot of blue and white transfer wear, so I decided to leave it there for somebody else. This was the beginning of the cat section. <laughs> they had so many cat pieces. This particular cookie jar was from Taiwan, so it was more vintage. And it was so cute. I, I didn't, I don't have room for another cookie jar, but it was really cute. And if you couldn't tell, I was really contemplating it. <laughs> like I was trying to figure out, where can I put this? And that cat birdhouse was really cute too for 4th of July. Wouldn't that have been awesome? You can tell I'm a, definitely a cat person. I did like the blue and white kitty and it is from Taiwan so it's vintage. I I just had to bring it home. I didn't like the bow around its neck, so I was checking to see if I could if it was just glued on or if I could take it off and I could. So I did when I got home. This was a very pretty clear glass candlestick. They wanted $8 for it, and honestly, I still, I have so many clear glass candlesticks that I figured I could leave this one behind. Oh my goodness, how cute are those two kitty cats kissing? What the heck? I didn't even see those doilies inside that little basket. Darn it. I've seen cups like this before in this robin's egg blue. They are so beautiful. They're oriental. I know they're vintage, but I have not been able to identify the name brand or if they have much value. Every time I see them though, I put them in my cart and sometimes I do purchase them, but if any of you have any information on them, I'd really appreciate it if you could let me in on it. These cardinal plates are from 2225th. 2225th dinnerware is sold in various places like Macy's, Wayfair, Bed Bath & Beyond, you name it. This set was nice. But they wanted almost $30 for it, and that's about what I can get online. In case you didn't know, I have a thing about teapots, and this one is so cute. Isn't that pretty? It, sadly, it isn't worth very much, but it is so sweet. We've now moved on to the Salvation Army in Clovis, California. And look, more kitty stuff. If that bunny had been any other color, I definitely would have picked it up. However, in clear glass, it does not sell very well. Okay, I, I kept saying, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, because I have been wanting one of these mini cups 
forever. I think it is the most adorable thing. Minnie in curlers and looking very tired in the morning. And we found a Mickey as well. I'm so excited. We found these Sitka Alaska clay mugs and sadly they were both very chipped. I did not notice that the one I did pick up was chipped as well. So I probably shouldn't have picked it up, but I did because they are so beautiful. Um, and again, I did not notice that it was chipped. Today was the day for mugs because my husband found three, I think, total of the anthropology mugs. So we brought those home. And I am so excited about this Mucros Irish Creamer. I am so excited. It's so beautiful. This is a collector plate, and I don't typically pick up collector plates, but look at this adorable bunny. This is one of the cutest bunnies I've ever seen. I had to bring it home. And more kitty stuff. I think someone who collected kittens or cat stuff must have passed away or donated all of their cat-related items because they are all over the Salvation Armies. I thought about this blue and white cat. It is from Pier 1 and it is a little bit vintage. They wanted $13 for that blue and white cat though so I left it there. I really liked that sleeping or laying cat with the kitten on top cookie jar. I thought it was really cute. Okay, that cat salt box was really cute. And if I didn't already have a salt box, <laughs> I may have considered that one. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. Look at these turtles made out of shells. They were adorable. And the one with glasses, oh my goodness. It was only $2. I really thought, I think I even put it in my cart for a while and then thought about it and thought, mm, where am I going to put that? But it was so cute and I think I may have been able to sell that.
We found another Costa Boda snowball. They don't sell for all that much. I think they're really sweet, but once again, they're clear glass, and I just have way too much of it. They wanted four dollars for it, and I think they normally sell for about twelve online. So, uh, it, I left it there. This nativity was a music box, but unfortunately, it didn't work very well. Make sure you go down all the aisles, including aisles that you don't necessarily want to pick anything from. Um, sometimes you don't really want the metal, anything from the metal section. But you never know. Some people change their mind and they will leave items in uh, not necessarily where they belong. So take a look through everything because you never know what you can find. And yet more cats. There are cats everywhere. I should have gotten this Harvey's mug. It was vintage and I, I have a person that wants tiki mugs all the time. That was a cute box. Uh, my husband said, I can't tell if that's Ecuador or Guatemala. I said it was Peru. <laughs> I really like those stoneware cookie molds. Those, unfortunately, are Pampered Chef, and they don't sell for very much. Uh, I believe the Brown Bag Cookie Company sell for uh, a lot better. Okay, we're back home, and we have a lot of goodies. Starting off with this bias tape, and I got some bias tape in white because I don't have any in white, and I got it for half off, so I got it for a dollar. Not a bad price. And it saved me a trip to Joann's or some other store. Oh my goodness, I have been wanting a mini cup like this forever. I have the companion Mickey mug that I got at Disneyland many, many years ago, but I never got the mini and I've been wanting it for so long and you know how much I got it for? I got it for $1. I know it says $4, but I got more than one cup and I got actually more than five. And if you get more than five, I believe they charge you a dollar per cup so I got it for a dollar I was so excited these are Pimpernel golf course coasters and typically I I I have been avoiding picking up Pimpernel coasters because I do have a few and they just have sat there I figured these were golf course ones and perhaps they would do a little bit better so we'll see I got the coasters for $2 um, because they were half off, so I, I, not bad. If they don't sell, I'm only out $2. Oh my goodness, I know, I know I said I'm not going to buy any more collector plate, but <laughs> I couldn't say no to this cute bunny. This is the most adorable bunny I've ever seen. It's just adorable just melted my heart it's so cute so it came home with me and it's gonna be perfect for my easter decor oh my goodness i also found this mickey cup how can you go wrong mickey and mini cups oh my goodness and i got them for a dollar a piece and I also got the plate for a dollar. Not sure if the Mickey cup came that way or it has a little bit of discoloration in the inside, 
but I'm gonna try and clean it up as best I can. I think it may come this color because it, you can tell that it has two different colors, one on a different one on the inside than on the outside. This Polish cup was a dollar as well, and it's by Favolina. It's made in Poland, and I thought it was really fun. It, they're Polish folk dancing, and it's very heavy. I also got these Anthropology monogram mugs, and they are vintage. They're so nice. They're very heavy sturdy cups and they are all different monogram initials so i think these are going to do very well in uh, the online as well i really liked this vintage kitty cat in blue and lighter blue it it's just so cute. I'm, I don't love the bow on it, but I'm going to see if I can just pull that right off because it, it's just glued on there. This was a really nice Polar Express mug. It's got the raised elements on it and it's very heavy duty. I think it'll do really well closer to Christmas time. This was a really cute Delft blue shaker. Uh, it's from a place near us called Pisu Bandersons. And I think they've closed a lot of their locations. So there's only a few left. And I really liked it. It is blue and white. And I just really liked the decor. And I paid $1 for it. These green etched glass glasses. <laughs> They, they, I believe they're called lowball glasses, but they're so beautiful. They're very substantial, very heavy duty uh, glass, and they are hand blown. You can tell by the pontal on the bottom, and they're just so nice. We paid a dollar a piece, and I, I just love them. They're really pretty. I found these beautiful 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 English teacups that are just stunning and I could not find the saucers to go with them anywhere I went it was so sad but I ended up buying them because if I can't sell them and I'm not sure that I want to sell them I am planning on making some candles to out of beeswax and putting them inside putting the beeswax inside the cups and making my own candles because they are so beautiful. And to have strewn about your home, uh, especially in the kitchen area, it just, you get that ambiance. I can't wait to make them into candles. And using beeswax, you don't even need to have any fragrance in them because the beeswax alone fragrances your home so beautifully that you don't need any additional uh, scent. I found this fake Jimmy Choo eyeglass case and I bought it just because it, I, I'm always needing extra eyeglass cases uh, to have in the car or wherever. Uh, I will not be selling this because I believe it is counterfeit. So. I believe that this is pronounced Mewkraus. I think that's how you pronounce it. If I'm not pronouncing it correctly, please correct me. But I think this is gorgeous. It's so unusual, and it is mine. I just love it. And oh my goodness, guess how much I paid? One dollar. One dollar. I'm so sad about this cup. It is Sitka, Alaska clay and it is chipped around the edge 
It's so sad. And I did not even notice it at the store. So unfortunately, it's chip, but it is beautiful. And I paid a dollar for it. That was everything we purchased on our shopping trip. I love everything I came home with, and we had so much fun shopping. I thank you so much for coming along with us on our shopping spree, and I hope you'll continue to come along with us. We do have so much fun, and we find some of the most beautiful things for our home and to put up on our online stores. You can find the link in the description below. If you like the video you saw, click on this one next.